This orange hothead damsel has to be one of my favourite flies, not just of springtime, but all the way through spring, summer, and even back end. This is a true fish catcher. It will catch you plenty of fish, not only on small waters, but larger reservoirs and in crystal clear water, but also fish this in coloured water. With its hot head, the fish will sure pick this out. Right, so today I'm going to start off with uh, an intermediate line. Uh, this is uh, an intermediate, a fast glass, anything that sinks at around one, one and a half inches per second. Uh, I'm going to start with the ever faithful uh, hot head orange damsel. Uh, you'll notice the tail's wet. It's not because I've been fishing, it's because before uh, I start, I always wet the marabou. So the fly is fishing straight away. If you leave it dry, sometimes it sits on the surface just a bit too long. This way, just wet it in the edge. Uh, as soon as the fly lands, you're fishing. The marabou will open and you'll get all that lovely movement which you want in your damsel patterns. Uh, just going to start off with a single fly on a 12 foot leader, 8 pound Sierra fluorocarbon and we'll give it a go and see how we get on. The beauty with fishing lures or a damsel pattern like this one itself is you'll catch the fish on so many different retrieves. Don't think you have to fish one retrieve all the time. And what I like to do is I like to start from the top and then work my way down. So first cast I'll bring straight back. A few quick chop jerks into a figure of eight. Just so you're getting that damsel and the tail moving in the water. Oh, add a little pull then. And then as you come up, especially if you get a take like that, just lift your rod nice and slow and it's what's called the hang or the lift. With that change of direction of the fly, you can take a lot of fish. Once you see the hot head there, another cast. Don't be afraid with your damsel patterns as well, is to fish down the margins, because obviously the damsels will be hatching, crawling up, up the stems of the uh, vegetation around the lake. This time, there's a fish there, straight in front of us. And that tells us we're in the right area. So it's down to myself now. And I'm sure this hothead damsel will do the damage. Don't be afraid, I've had a few takes on the intermediate, but when I've been counting down, so when you leave it, to even count down to 20, 30 seconds, try and find out from the fishery owner how deep the water is. I know, I've fished this a couple of times now, I'm in the deepest area of the lake. That bright sun, the water temperature is warming up, I think those fish will be down deeper. Again, don't be too quick to, to cast out and bring it back. Oh, don't tap that. Yeah. There we go. That was on a 24, 25 second count there. You can see how deep the even this intermediate line is. Coming up in this clear water. Let's see. There he is. I don't know he's hooked yet, quickly in the net. There we go. So here we have the actual adult damsel itself. But you can see why our flies work so well. You've got the green, even a bit of blue in its tail. But with that long tail and the long wings, or when it's under the water with a long tail, its movement is replicated by our marabou. And again, the size of the damsel. It's obviously quite a big fly and quite a big nymph in the water. But that's why we sell them in 10s, 12s. Perfect. Taking the hothead damsel. So what I've done, is I've set up my floating line. I was getting a lot of pulls on the intermediate. And on heavily pressured small waters, Oh, they see a lot of lures and you get a lot of tail nips. So what I've done, get this one, there she goes. What I did, is I put the, uh, the fast male fish pimp indicator on, set it about nine foot, 
uh, the 3D buzzer on the dropper, the damsel on the point, and uh, what that does is it suspends the, the lure at a certain depth, and they're not used to seeing the fly moving past them. They don't associate it with danger. Bang. That's the result. As I'm sure you know now, our fantastic packs uh, here at Fast Mail, uh, a great value for money, top quality flies, and here is one of our biggest selling packs. It's the 10 Modern Pro Damsels, also available in 20. Uh, it gives you such a huge variety of damsels. Like you've seen, we can catch them on the blue ones, the unweighted ones and the weighted ones in different conditions. This pack offers you them all. There's the uh, nice bluey. There's the proof in the pudding. Fishing static is the way forward. Just because you've got a lure on doesn't mean you need to be pulling it back at 100 mile an hour or fishing it on a floater or a sinker. As you can see, I've got it on one of our fish pimps, set at nine foot, and that's two in two casts. Lovely, lively, bluey, crystal clear water. And as opposed to damsels, when they they won't be on the move all the time, they'll have to rest sometimes. And, that's what's proving irresistible. Aye. Strong blue trout. Trying to take me in the reeds. The last one didn't know it's hooked, this one knows it's hooked. There she is, lovely. The flies come out in the net. But look at this. For a lovely, lovely. Springtime blue trout. What a fish. Put it back. And like I said, the fly come out in the net. And proof in the pudding there. And that took the blue flash cat damsel there. With its chain bead eyes, the flash coming out the, the head, and obviously that lovely dark olive. Marabou tail. So I'm going to try a quick change now to um, uh, well, one of our most imitative patterns that we do is the living damsel. As you can see with its plaited olive marabou tail. I've had a few takes, a few knocks, and I think the fish are just wising up. So with this, with the dumbbell eyes, uh, I'm going to suspend it in nine foot under the indicator and hopefully that will bring another fish onto the bank. A cross breeze come onto the water now. So I'm fishing a straight floating line, 12 foot leader, the eight pound fluorocarbon and a single living damsel on the end with the dumbbell bead eyes. And what that will do is it will dig in nice and deep and every now and again I'm just going to give it a few twitches and then stop. Because the wind will be pulling the line round, you only need to give it a few twitches and then stop. And that'll just give that tail the movement exactly the same as a natural damsel that the trout will be feeding on. And then hopefully we'll trick them into taking ours. Because like I said, they see a lot of flies moved in small waters like this. Static is often the way to success, especially this time of year after that warm weather. There's a lot of fish jumping today. They're not rising. Uh, I don't think they're after the adults uh, damsels, but we do at uh, Fast Mail supply all of the adult uh, damsels because I have had some great days when they've actually been chasing the, the adult damsels across the surface. If you go onto the website, type in damsel, there's a damsel there to suit every single situation you will ever find yourself in fishing. There we go. And we're in. Just sailed away. And finally, I was concentrating. Got the 
towards them. You can always tell the lion's deep as well is when they're fighting deep. Safely in the net. There we go. Right in the scissors. Oh, I only just hooked that one. Whee! Very lively today. This is uh, one of my favourite damsel pack patterns that we have at Fast Mail. The Glister damsel. This is available in various different colours. So go onto the website and check them out. This one today hasn't worked because we've had some glorious sun as you can see uh, and the fish are holding in them deeper layers. I like to fish this as part of a team on a dropper because it's unweighted and it's got the movement of the, uh, the marabou as well. It works great in the shallower water, shallower bays and like I said on part of a team with the orange or the blue flash damsel on the point. Uh, these come in 10s and 12s, again the 10s for the, uh, the sunk line work, uh, the fresher fish and then the 12s more of an imitative pattern, uh, fish for them wilier, uh, harder fish in the shallower clear water. The Glister Damsel, check them out on Fast Mail. There we go, uh, fine Lenches rainbow, I'm really loving these damsels today but what I've done get this one in. He's gone right down. Nailed in the bottom lip. Put the uh, foam triple damsel on. But as you can see from a fly line, I've gone down to a dive five. So this is about 12, 13 foot deep here we got told. There's the proof in the pudding. Hey, lively one. The, uh, the foam crippled damsel. Perfect for fishing in shallow water or, as I've just done with that fish, fished on a high D line in deep water on warm days when stunning rainbow trout like that are holding that a bit deeper and you just can't reach them with your intermediate lines. So whenever there's a bit of deep water, I put the foam, the foam crippled one on just because it will keep it off the bottom. If I went in with the uh, the hot head damsel or the blue fast damsel, the fast sinking line, I'd be forever catching all the, the debris on the bottom, getting snagged up, getting fed up or taking weed off your fly. But with this one, the line will be on the bottom, this fly will be sitting up, a few short, sharp tweaks, jigs, whatever you want to call it, get that marabou tail waving in the water, and we do these in a size 10 and a size 12 depending on the fish you're going for. On the sinking line I always opt for the 10 and on the floating line down the margins and in shallow water, on reservoirs and even small water, but reservoirs in the shallow waters, floating line, a couple of these pop through on a midstip or a floating line, absolutely deadly.